Well, thanks everybody for being here, especially those that travel with us from Chicago. Um, appreciate you. Uh, you're disappointed for our young men. Uh, came in here to fight and battle, and I thought they did that. You know, obviously didn't start the way we wanted to, uh, spotting them a couple of scores, but the guys didn't flinch and kept swinging. And you know, we ended up one punch short, and uh, you know, went to the cards and obviously lost on the scoreboard. So, incredibly disappointed for our young men in the locker room. I thought they came here ready to battle, ready to ready to. Uh, Take on an outstanding football team and a very well-coached football team, and uh, went toe to toe. We just couldn't find a way to get it done in the end. So, with that, how about some questions, please? Do you take any pride in how well you guys played? No, not at all. I mean, I take great pride in the way our guys are playing. Absolutely, I think they're battling. I think we've improved. I think we're getting better. But no, absolutely not. We came here to win, and and uh, not to get it done is bitterly disappointing. What are the decisions to go for field goal there on the long fourth goal? Long fourth and goal. Uh, that would be a uh, B. Uh, we, I felt like we get a, we get points there. We're going to get a stop. I had three timeouts, three and a half minutes left, um, and we end up being one play short. You know, on a third down play, we get him to third and eight, and we don't make a play, and JT makes a play. So, you know, good for him. That's why he's an All Big Ten level player, and, and uh, we got to find a way to make that one more play. So that's what went into it, and uh, I ended up one call short. Right, right. So you still need to touch down, but you just felt like. Well, we just got a holding call. We had just gotten, we got pushed back. Uh, you know, I, I felt like getting points there was critically import, important instead of walking off. I mean, if I go for it and don't get it, we're down seven. If I kick the field goal, we're down four. If I go for the touchdown and we get it, we're tied. Those are the three kind of options there. I took the one, I guess you'd say, in the middle. Uh, if it's fourth and shorter, you know, I probably would have gone for it. But fourth and 15, uh, I made the decision to take the points. Kick off, get a great kickoff. We got a chance to get off the field. We get them to third and long twice, I believe, on that drive, and we don't get off the field. So that's that's really disappointing. Do you feel like you got an extra boost from some of your guys being from Ohio and they get you pumped up for this You know, you'd have to ask them. Um, I, I mean, every, anytime you play in your home state, I think you're pretty excited. Anytime you play in front of 100 and 7,000, I think you get pretty excited. I mean, sure beats 22,000, you know. So, you know, it's, it's a great atmosphere. It's a cathedral, college football, greatest, you know, best fan bases in the, in the world. So it's a, it's a great environment to play in. And, you know, I thought our guys handled it well. I don't think they, they flinched one bit. So the challenge will be now how do we respond from it? You know, we've got a critical month ahead of us. And uh, right now our, our record says we're an average football team, and so that's my responsibility, and uh, I've got to get all that fixed. So that's what we'll get to work on right away tomorrow. Without having seen the film, JT got a 35-yard run on that last drive. You know, what you were in, uh, yeah, we were in man free. They emptied the backfield. It, doesn't look, it didn't look like we made any communication that it was empty. We looked like we were Velcro to blocks. They cracked our safety, and our corner fell down. It was my vantage point without seeing the film. That's what it looked like. I don't know. Is that what it looked like to you guys? That's what it looked like from my, my standpoint. So pretty tough when you don't touch his flag until 35 yards. Like I said, we're one play away, and that's, that's on us. That's why I just told the kids in the locker room. It's not their fault. It's our fault as coaches. So bitterly disappointed, quite frankly, quite furious. So we'll, we'll get to work, and we'll get it fixed. No, I wanted to be 4-0. So. Uh, you seemed to have a nice, um, a nice feel for scrambling a couple times to create time, mm -hmm. kept the ball on some mm -hmm. options. Mm -hmm. Talk about yeah, I thought he performed uh, really well, you know, especially in the environment. Um, I, I thought he handled himself really well. I'm sure when we look at the tape, I'm sure when he looks at the tape, he'll want a couple of plays back like everybody. Um, but he gave us an opportunity to win the football game without a doubt. We could have just gone and done this, you and I, one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, this would have been, this would have been fun. Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry, bud. Yeah, I made some great catches. You know, I thought they had really good coverage, you know, on the majority of those plays and, and um, great pitch and a great catch by him. And, um, you know, he's having an all Big Ten level year. You know, I mean, I think this is the most yards that anybody put up on Ohio State here at the shoe this year, right? I think we moved it. I think we, we obviously gave ourselves a chance to win the game. 
in a lot of ways offensively, but then stalled out on some drives with some self-inflicted wounds. You know, we get two two-minute possessions as an offense, and we have one-man breakdowns at the end of the first half. That, 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 that can't happen. You know, we, we partially block a punt. Um, you know, all those things add up to when you end up being one play short in a game or the difference makers. I mean, you could point to the last play defensively when, I, when JT got that long run, but there's a bunch of other one plays that we had an opportunity to make. And, you know, again, as a coach, you take that responsibility and you work your tail off to get it fixed. Yeah, to score. Yeah, that was the plan. Looked like he was just off his fingertips, huh? Yeah. yeah. yeah saying there's a chance, huh? Yeah, that's what it feels like right now. Yeah. Mary Swan, 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 Samsonite. Is that a similar play to the, uh, the outback bowl against Auburn? That would be the exact play. Yeah. <laughs> um, Coach, do you just see the similarities in this game and the last time you played on that day? How would you compare this one to that time? Yeah, they're totally different. Um, yeah, I, I think, you know, number one, um, that might be the most electric I've seen Ryan Field in my career, uh, not only as a player, but, uh, you know, also as a coach. Um, so I think it was a totally diff different atmosphere. There may have been 107,000, but I, I thought that atmosphere was pretty special that night for our, our program, you know, all things being considered. Um, you know, I, I think from a standpoint of, of where we're at right now as a football team, I think we're very unified. I think it's a great family of guys down there. I think that was one of the games that kind of started to, to take our focus in other directions uh, as a program. And uh, I think we're in a totally different place than we were at that time, led by the guys in the locker room. I'm very proud of them. So it was very different. And that the actual play of the game where it was again. Well, we fumbled the ball, you know, in the, in the last time. We didn't fumble the ball today, you know. I mean, we had a chance to get off the field, and we didn't do it. We had two third down stop, th third down stop opportunities, down four on the road, and, and we didn't get it done. You know, we're first and goal at the five. We don't get it done. You know, your last, whatever, six minutes of the game, you got an opportunity to go, you know, go win, win the game, and, and we, don't, we don't get it done. So. I'll look first of all what we did schematically. I'll look then at obviously the execution. And then obviously I'll always be, you know, like Teddy's question. I mean, I think those are all fair. I mean, if I go for it right there and we score, we're tied and we're probably still playing, right? I chose to take the points, expecting our, us to get a stop. We got it to third down twice and we didn't get it done. So it's my fault. You know, I should have, I should have obviously, I mean, we lose the game. We, I guess I should have gone for it on fourth and 15. I mean, it's, I'm writing the article. There you go. There's your quote. So. Do you feel, I mean, you know, do you feel that way? No. But you're going to write it. I mean, <laughs> I know the drill. Been here a long time. We've been having fun together for a while. Coach, you talk a lot about another game, two high after one, yeah. two low after losses. Yeah. Uh, what's kind of the message? Obviously, you take the one day afterwards. Yeah. Well, I just told him I'm bitterly disappointed for him. It's our fault as coaches. When you end up one play away, I can't, I can't fault our fight and our effort. Um, you know? at all and uh played a very talented football team on the road and and, and didn't flinch and, and obviously didn't uh make some plays early that we wanted to make uh, but i thought we settled in there and uh the guys just kept battling and, and i thought you know going to the fourth quarter that uh you know we had every opportunity to win the game if we had it a one score game or, or 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 a lead in our end and obviously you know we were in the right great position the guys battled their butts off we just we had to find a way to make one more play and you know in the red zone offensively, in, in the kicking game, and, and then obviously, um, you know, defensively getting a stop there at the end. So a lot of one-play opportunities that just we didn't get it done. So that's my fault. What else, guys? You guys got any more of the guys that came late? I don't want to rush you. You guys sprinted down here. You guys look gassed. You guys want some water? Anything else for Coach? You guys don't have anything? Yeah, go ahead. Go on. Uh, I want to make sure I get them all answered for you. Last year when you guys got down, Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what do you think that says about him and his mental progression? Yeah, you gotta, yeah, you gotta excuse my ignorance. What year are you right now? I am a junior. Yeah, so remember freshman year, the first round of midterms you took and how stressed you were? Yeah, yeah right. Well, I, I think we all like to forget about our freshman year of playing. I mean, it's hard. It's a grind. And, um, you know, I, I thought the way that he handled everything a year ago, you know, gave us as a program great confidence that he was going to take the steps. Uh, to become, you know, a quarterback that's going to give us an opportunity to be championship level. And I think you see that unfolding right now. I mean, I, I mean, uh, we've had three pretty tough road tests, you know, here over the last month. I mean, it's 
going to playing here in the shoe, going to uh, East Lansing and going to Kinnick. Those aren't three uh, easy places to play. And I think in all three of those games, he gave us a chance to win. Uh, so his maturation is not a surprise because he's put the work ethic in. Uh, the, the way that he's playing is not a surprise because I think he's incredibly talented. And then I think he's trusting those guys around him. I mean, he, he took some shots today. You know, the safety went to go double Austin down there in a the red zone. He took a shot at Flynn. I, I like that decision. I like that decision a lot. Um, you, you know, he's not just locking in on one guy. He's, he's playing within the framework of the offense. Uh, he had some opportunities to make some plays with his legs today that I thought really gave us, gave us a chance to win the game. And, uh, you know, we just got to continue to keep him clean, you know, this next month. And so from a messaging standpoint, you got four games in the West. We'll focus one at a time, as we always do. To our home, and we got to get our fans to show up, man. We got to get our students to show up. We got a huge game next week, and they need to show up. I mean, this team's fighting their tails off, and I'd like to see that student section packed. Um, you know, it's the least that you can do. You got two more home games left <laughs> uh, as a student body to get after it and, and part of your tail off. So, um, you know, 11 o'clock, get up at 9, have fun, and let's rock, you know. And, and uh, you know, I'd like to see that next week. That would be great, you know. Um, but our fan base has been great all year. We just we just need it. We need it in the next two weeks. It's going to be important. I mean, you you guys come in here. You see what that looks like. You know, that's that's where we got to get to. So we're a work in progress as a program, and it starts with me. And a lot of things we got to just got to keep grinding on. We got to we got to find a way to squeeze every win out of this group. And I, I believe in them. I believe in them. They've been grinding, and I, I believe that they're going to keep working to get better, and they're going to fight to win. So it's our job as a staff to help them. And that's what we got to do. Well, like always, I mean, I'm going to try to watch and get as much film done as I can. Um, it's 7.30, so 6.30 our time. So I'd like to be done by 2 o'clock tonight, getting everything great and, and creating solutions. That's what I'll present to the staff tomorrow. You know, not only identify the issues, but then work collectively to present solutions. Um, so when we see the guys on Tuesday or on Monday morning, we'll present those solutions to them, where, where we played well, where we have to fix things schematically, fundamentally. Um, get those things corrected. And then I'm going to talk to him about kind of what we have left, you know, and, and where we're at right now as a program. And, you know, I, I it's a Coach Parcellsism. I mean, you are what your record says you are, and right now we're average. And so if we don't want to be remembered and have a legacy for our seniors of being average, we've got to do something about it. And the only way you do that is by rolling your sleeves up and going to work. You know, there's going to be no easy fix. And, um, you know, if we keep battling and keep fighting and scratching and clawing, we get, we'll give ourselves an opportunity to compete. And if we do that, we've got to help the guys as a staff, and we've got to make sure – uh, we put them in position to win the game uh, when the opportunities present themselves. So, um, you know, we, we've battled back from a rough start. You know, I think we've, we, we took October on as a challenge as a program, and I think we responded. Now we're going to find out where we're at as a program based on what we do in November. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to the opportunities, and I'm really looking forward to the challenge. And uh, I can't wait to get back on the practice field on Tuesday. All right. Thanks, Coach. Oh, you got one more? Go ahead. Uh, Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that one alone. How does, how does that sound? I mean, we're, we're just trying to do some things. And, and um, you know, I think Matt has done a really good job. Let me focus on Matt. Matt's done a really good job continuing to prepare every game to be the starter. Um, and that's no knock on Clayton. We didn't put Matt in because Clayton wasn't playing well. We're just, you know, trying to do some things uh, a little bit schematically, offensively. Um, and um, I got to look at the plays. Um, I know the one I brought a corner crash and we didn't adjust pretty well. Good call by Coach Chiano. But, uh, um, you know, it's great to see him out there. He's worked his butt off. You know, I'm really proud of him. He's a great teammate. And, um, you know, we'll take a look at it and see where if we can correct it, expand it, uh, or where we'll go with that. We'll figure that out. Any more, guys? All right, great. Thanks. Travel home safe. Thanks a lot. Go, Cats. Thank you, guys.